So I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to make this uh, text effect. I know I don't have too many tutorials about text effects and that's why I decided I would make uh, this one and I ended up with this effect which I think it's, uh, it, it's pretty nice. And the best thing about this effect is that this is actually a layer style so there's no uh, layers, no clipping masks, uh, no nothing. And I'll show that uh, just in a second. So I just typed my name and as you can see uh, the text style is applied, uh, well the layer style is applied to the new text. You will need a couple of textures uh, to make this and I already gave you the links uh, to those uh, textures and also to the font. I uh, used a medieval font called Augusta. So let me go back to the original text. So the first thing I'll do is duplicate this layer and disable the original and get rid of the layer style because we'll do this again but before starting with this you have to set up your background I use the canvas size um, the same as my screen resolution but the canvas size is not really important in this uh, in this case you can use the same one if you want to but uh, it's not necessary so let's start from the bottom so I started with uh, this texture, I opened it in Photoshop, pasted it here and then I scaled it down to fit my canvas size. It's important to know that the effect that you will create, it's affected by the background and especially if you use um, effects like drop shadow, outer glow or um, yeah, this one especially because uh, the drop shadow for example, it falls outside the text edges so it will be affected by the texture of the background and also by the colors and I'll show that uh, right now let me get rid of the of those effects and activate the original one and you can see that since I used color dodge for the drop shadow it doesn't look uh, that nice and I will enable the, this two adjustments and you can see that on back on black background uh, this uh, drop shadow uh, looks a lot better. So if you're planning to use drop shadow and outer glow, um, keep in mind that uh, the effect will be different if you change the background. So just wanted to let you know that. So I started as I said with this texture and then I made it, I wanted to make it a, a lot darker so I used the hue saturation and I reduced saturation to Two, I activated colorize. It's not really necessary, but as you can see, it changes the um, the aspect. And then I reduced the, the lightness to minus 90 and set the hue to 209. Then I added another adjustment. Uh, I added some levels because I wanted to bring back some of the highlights and create a stronger contrast. So it makes the image a bit more clear, as you can see. And these are the values that I that I used for the for the levels, and this is just to set up uh, the background. And then I wanted to add some light here. I used the the lighting effects filter, and I'll show you how I did that. I created a new layer, and I filled that with white pressing Alt and Backspace. And then I went to Image Adjust. Um, sorry, I went to Filter, Render, Lighting Effects and then I played with the spotlight here and I reduced the, the intensity a bit and changed the color and I made something like that and then clicked OK let me increase the intensity and something like that I'll show the original so this is the the original one I applied that to a smart object and that way I can show you the settings that I used so if you want, you can pause the video and copy the same uh, the same settings, and you can go uh, with that. So once I had that, I changed the blend mode of this layer, which on normal blend mode uh, looks like this, and I changed it to you can use overlay or soft light. I used the overlay because soft light is a bit too strong. And then I typed my text, and from now on, this just uh, using layer styles and I applied quite a few uh, effects here but before you start you need uh, the second texture so go to open 
uh, open the second texture which is uh, this one and this is, will be the texture that uh, will be uh, on the text itself so the first thing I did is desaturate this so go to image adjustments hue saturation desaturated and click OK and then you can also increase the contrast a bit uh, with levels I press Control L to load the levels and just increase the highlights and also darken the midtones so that you have a bit more contrast and click OK and once you have this go to file I mean go to edit define pattern you need to define this as a pattern so that you can use it inside the layer styles window so define this as a pattern you can name uh, let's name this text texture and click OK and once you do that you can close uh, this image I don't want to save it and come back to my text and open the layer styles again and the first thing I applied to this is the pattern overlay and that's why I created that pattern because that way I can open it from here so I'll scroll down and you should have it on the bottom and that's my my texture there if your text is really big um, you can play with the scale here but uh, as you can see it loses quality so use a bigger texture if your text is uh, really big and let's leave it at 100 percent by the way the size of the text that I'm using is uh, 300 pixels and now I have the texture I left the opacity um, and the scale to 100 percent the next effect that I applied is bevel and emboss because I wanted to create that uh, 3D effect and I used inner bevel the technique I used uh, is the hard one for the depth I used uh, 317 pixels uh, percent sorry the direction set to up size I set this to 50 pixels and soften to zero and you get this uh, 3D effect let me zoom in just a bit so you can see it better that's how I got that um, that effect there I left these ones uh, to the default if you don't have it like this uh, change the angle to 90 degrees and the altitude to 48 degrees and the contour that I used is this one I don't even know the name rounded steps so choose this one uh, you can leave the default if you want to uh, I think I even like it more than the other one because it has uh, this highlight here uh, if you choose this one that highlight goes away so I'll leave it on linear for now let's see which one works best and after you're done with the, your style you can change the settings here but let's leave it on linear for now and then for the for the um, highlight mode I chose the color dodge blend mode and I changed the color I used the an orange color and the exact value is this one click OK and you can you already uh, see the, the effect of that uh, highlight here on the text and the opacity that I used for this is 100 percent then for the shadow mode I used the multiply blend mode and the color that I used for that click OK and set the opacity to 100% so that adds that effect so you can see it's a really big change the next effect that I applied is some gradient overlay because I wanted to make the bottom part a bit darker and again uh, the blend mode that I use is soft light the opacity I set it to 75% and I use the custom gradient so for the shadows I use the black color and for the highlights I use the gray one and the code is 64 64 64 click OK and click OK again and the scale I set it to 150 percent and the angle to 90 degrees so we can see before and after okay now let's go with the shadow options for the drop shadow I used the color dodge blend mode and I used um, uh, a yellow color So light yellow, like that, click OK. 
the angle I set it to 120 degrees make sure you uncheck use global light and it sets it automatically to 120 degrees the distance I set it to 5 the size I set it to 1 because I want to I wanted to have those uh, hard edges and I increased the opacity to 100% and that's how you get that uh, strong yellow color there then I added those um, red edges with inner shadow and the settings for this is the blend mode set to overlay the opacity to 100% and the color that I used is a strong red the angle I set it to 169 again disable use global light first and change the, the um, angle to 169 degrees the distance set to 3 pixels and the size to 2 pixels of course this is up to you you can change uh, the aspect depending on how you like it if you want more softer edges you, you can use uh, um, another set different settings here next I added some outer glow and the blend mode for this is color dodge again opacity at 100% the color that I used for this is and click OK Te the technique I set it to precise and the contour that I use for this uh, is this one then the range I set the range to 76% and the size to 2 pixels so it just adds a bit of glow around uh, the edges of the text and the last effect that I added is inner glow and again I use the color dodge blend mode and the co I change the color of course and click OK and the technique is set to softer the size I set it to 6 pixels and the range to 50% and the contour set to linear and that's your layer style once you have this click OK so that um, uh, you save it so to say and if you want to make changes to this if you want to experiment with this I suggest that you save it first so once you have once you got here click the new style button and well give it uh, a name Check, the, check this option and click OK. Uh, because if you change the settings here, uh, you, if you don't like what you get, you ha you'll have to go back uh, one by one and change the settings again. And maybe you don't remember them and it's just a waste of time. So make sure you save the style first and then make all the experiments you want. So that's how I made this uh, text effect. I hope you like it. I don't really like these highlights here, but anyways, I'll give you the PSD file so you can download it and see the, the style for yourself and apply it to your own text but it's always uh, good to practice it for yourself because uh, you will learn something new hopefully so well that's all for for today uh, thanks for watching make sure you subscribe because I'll have uh, I'll post new videos and well see you next time